Hello, my name is Keith Gruber. I'm a guitar teacher, a bass teacher, and also a guitarist, bassist, and cello player. Um, I'm doing a couple of these lessons um, online just to demonstrate my teaching technique. In case you're interested in taking lessons, I live in Greenville, South Carolina. If you're anywhere near there, um, feel free to go to my webpage, which is linked to over there. It's keithgruber.com. K-E-I-T-H-G-R-O-O-V-E-R.com and uh, send me an email and maybe we can sign up for lessons. Today I'm going to demonstrate a little bit of left, tech, left hand technique, um, mostly kind of for beginners who uh, have never been able to play chords very well or for anybody who's been trying to play chords and just can't and can't seem to build up their speed. I've seen people who've been playing for you know, 10, 15 years who are okay guitar players um, but still can't change chords very quickly and I'll tell you why. The reason is because they put their fingers down one at a time, like this. And I, I've seen people, you know, be able to do it pretty quickly, but they still can never be quite as fluent as somebody who uses the correct technique. Now, um, learning a chord. First of all, first step, um, finding a chord that you want to learn. Um, today I'm going to use the C chord because it's one of the most common chords used on the guitar. Uh, if you don't know how the C chord goes, um, the first string is open, the second string you, you do put down the index finger on the first fret, third string is open, fourth string you put your middle finger down on the second fret, and then on the fifth string you put your ring finger down on the third fret. And as with any chord, you want to get your fingers as close to the fret as you can without going over. Probably you know, at least in the middle, if not closer towards the front of the of the uh, fret. So for this chord, the C chord, let me show you the right way to do it. That's all there is to it. If you can put down all of your fingers at the same time and get a nice clean sound, then you have learned the chord. Now, this kind of goes with my philosophy of, of uh, practice that you want to practice um, the things that you want to be able to do. Um, so for instance, I always tell my students, if you want to get good at uh, baseball, you don't go out and play basketball for eight hours a day. Now you play baseball and you do baseball related stuff. In the same way, if you want to get good at putting your fingers down at the same time, you have to practice putting your fingers down at the same time. You can't practice putting your fingers down one at a time. Once you know the chord, don't let yourself put those fingers down one at a time because it's going to you're going to be one of those people who's been playing for 10 or 15 years and still has trouble changing chords. Because those people, like I said, they've gotten good at putting their fingers down one at a time. They can do it pretty quickly, but their bad technique is slowing them down. So, now, here's a little method that I use whenever I'm trying to do, whenever I'm trying to learn a new chord. And I still do this whenever I'm learning a new chord, you know, some weird, you know, jazz chord. You know, this kind of stuff. Um, I will, I will put my finger, I will, first of all, first up, learning what the chord is, and then second of all, I will put my fingers down pretty hard, right on the chord, then I relax my fingers just a little bit, and you can kind of see the, you can see the blood leaving my fingernails as I push it down. And you see, I relax my fingers, so I'm not pushing it down, so now I'm not actually playing the chord anymore. I'm getting that, but I'm keeping my fingers right where they should where they should be for the chord, and I'm just barely touching the string. Now, once you get used to being able to just barely touch that string, then the next step is to lift your fingers off, but keep them in that same formation. All right, so I can actually just take the guitar away. Now, uh, and then once you get it so that you're floating off just a little bit, then try to put all three fingers right back down again. And then test it out to make sure that you're playing it correctly. Alright. So, kind of two levels of learning. One is just memorizing where the notes are. And when you're at that level, you can go ahead and do your fingers down one at a time. But once you know where that note, where those notes are, don't let yourself put them down one at a time anymore. All right. Hopefully that has been helpful, and hopefully that will allow you to get some fluency going from chord to chord. And
I think eventually you get to the point where you don't even really have to think about it anymore. So anyway, uh, that is it. Uh, again, if you live in the Greenville, South Carolina area, um, feel free to go to my website at keithgruber.com and uh, email me and maybe we can set up some lessons. Thanks.